Okay, today we're going to show our customers how to make our video camera security IP camera that is on the XM uh, graphic user interface profile compatible with uh, what's known as Blue Iris software. So we've just put our IP camera online and we're going to make sure that it's online. Do a little search through the CMS software. So we click the device manager and add device. We're going to do a, do a quick search. And there it is. So this is the camera that we want to connect to. We're using NAT IP port 34567 but uh, the Blue Iris software is actually going to use the RTSP port. So this is just to make sure that we're online, we can connect, we're going to go ahead and connect the mainstream. And because this uh, particular camera is 1080p, we're going to have to adjust the mainstream. We haven't tried it on any other setting, but the Blue Iris software seems to be limited to 7 20, uh, 720p this is a 1080p camera so in the device config we're going to turn down the substream or we've already turned it down to D1 now our other we, we have one we have a dome camera that does have a 720p substream so if it does have 720p you can try that this is just our initial success in our setup and we haven't tried anything spectacular here with different settings so we're at D1 on the on the mainstream we're going to go ahead and close out of our central monitoring system software and we're going to open up OnVIF device manager uh, ODM is a freeware program I'll put the link uh, below in the um, in the memo um, and OnVIF device manager is available. You can Google search it on the web. Uh, it's, it's freeware and it's going to give us the RTSP stream of our camera. So here we are. We've plugged it in. It automatically found it and we don't have a password on it. But this is the live video. You can see that it's 30 frames per second. It's streaming. And this right down here is what we need. So we're going to take that RTSP stream. We are going to paste it. We're going to paste it into a notepad just so we have it. And we're going to take this part of it, starting with the copy. We're going to take that part of it, starting with the forward slash. Now we're going to come back up to Blue Iris. Go to video, right? There's your general tab. There's your video tab. Configure. And here we have the IP address of the IP camera 192.168.1.10. It automatically populated the HTTP port. That's really not the port that OnVIF runs on. Uh, that's the RTSP port. It seems to find it. Okay, but. We're gonna we're gonna take that out, but when when we click the inspect, I guess it's because our IP camera is encrypted. Uh, it's not gonna automatically give it. At least Blue Iris can't find the the uh, URL of the RTSP stream, so it says RTSP detected. And then it says done and then we close it and all we have is a forward slash so that's blank a lot of the less secure IP cameras just go ahead and give it the URL since we have that URL from uh, the OnVIF device manager which is a little more comprehensive and we put that in a notepad we're gonna paste it right here okay Everything else is apparently the same as just standard. Username, and by default, there's no password on this IP camera. 
and then we click OK to all of that. Wait a few seconds, and there we are. We're live, and so it's streaming. So the key is to use OnVIF Device Manager to find the RTSP URL because Blue Iris doesn't automatically find it. And once you've copied that stream, then you put it in the camera properties in the video tab on the configuration tab and you paste it into the path and that's really all there is to it so good news and um, uh, pass the information along <laughs>